what are we talking about? You're gonna ask me things. I'm just gonna ask you some like yeah. personal questions that okay, are yeah. maybe slightly inappropriate, but it'll be fun. All right, I'm Flex Pavilion, and we are at EDC New York in a golf cart, and I'm confessing things apparently. That's what I've told me. What are you thinking about when you're on stage playing a set? Um, when I'm on stage, generally I'm thinking about what I'm doing, but sometimes weird things creep in. Okay. Like tonight, my um, <coughs> my socks were rolled up over my feet, and it was making my feet really ache. Okay. So I had to take my shoes off because <laughs> it was really starting to hurt my legs. So yeah, if, it, if there's pain involved, sometimes I'm thinking about the pain. Yeah, but I, I broke my arm um, halfway through a tour last year. So I, I had to do about 20 shows with a broken arm. And so I was thinking about my arm for quite a bit of that. But still, I rocked it. I did my thing. Yeah. All good, yeah. Impressive. Well done. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Would you rather play a mega club or a desert party? Um, not a big fan of heat. No, yeah, not a big fan of hot, hot stuff. So I think a mega club probably okay. is, would be my favourite. I haven't played a desert party yet though, so yeah, I would change maybe change my tune once I've done that. I think. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's about going outside of your comfort zone, isn't it? Like, <clears throat> I feel like life is just an a ongoing cycle of different comfort zones, and you got to jump from one to the other. And if you don't jump, you're just sticking the same one forever, and that's boring. So, so yeah, always up for new things. You gotta as well. that desert I will. I'll be. I'll be doing it. I'll be there. Who is your music for? Um, my music is for such a hard question. Like, it's for me. Like, I, I write my music for me, but it's also for everyone because it's like without people, to, especially music like I write, without people to connect to it and enjoy it. What is it then? It's just like a, it's just the hype beat on my hard drive, you know? It's for those guys. My music's for those guys. That's what it is. Where's the Oh, he's over there somewhere. But yeah, I guess the fans are pretty awesome. It's nice to come play music to people that are into my stuff. So yeah. So yeah, this is a this is a cool thing in New York, I guess. This is yeah. Oh yeah. Ah oh, wow. If they're listening to the music, that's what I do it for, you know. What's your favorite part about coming to New York? Um, would normally say the pizza, but I am um, I'm on a bit of a calorie hiatus at the minute. A calorie hiatus, I have to say, is the most elegant way I've ever heard diet. Yeah, I don't go on diets. I don't go on diets. I disagree with diets. A calorie hiatus is. Uh, it's more of a thing, I think. What is something that you regret? Um, I I regret not working with Kendrick Lamar when I had the opportunity. Yeah, before he was big, um, he was into it, and then I was, yeah, I wasn't really working on much hip hop at the time, so I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, don't know how it could work, and then yeah, that was a that was a mistake. That's the only regret I've got, just because yeah. He's fucking awesome, basically. So if you see this, Kendrick, then yeah, I've got some beats for you, so hit me up. What is your motto? Um, there's only two things in life, and that's good music and bad music. Hmm. And I try to stay on the side of good music myself. Who or what is the greatest love of your life? Um, it is my girlfriend. And I'm not gonna disclose any more personal information, because I like to keep my private life private. But yeah, she is awesome, so yeah. What was your favorite music when you were 16? When I was 16, it was a band called Super Furry Animals and really heavy drum and bass. Basically, yeah, drum and bass was what got me into all of this, I think. Well, it was Prodigy, and then when I, I loved the Prodigy, and then I heard drum and bass and was like, ah, oh, this is like even heavier than the Prodigy. And yeah, that was my thing for a while. Right, well, something that people would be surprised to know about you. Um, I don't know, see I normally disclose quite a lot of information about my life, so there's not too much now. I, I'm quite an anxious person. I don't think a lot of people know that. 
I get quite um, I get quite panicky around like flashing lights and loud music and big crowds and stuff like that. Jesus, you may be in the wrong profession, sir. Well, see, I've always thought I was in the wrong profession. Right? It's kind of like it doesn't quite fit with my job, right? But you know, when you can push through something like that for the love of what you do, like that's more important to me. Yeah. When I start feeling panicky, I'm like, this is you know, this is a test. This is my test, and I've got to get through this to. To, if I want to be the best that I can be, then I need to get through this, I need to get over it. So that's what kicks me up the arse and gets on the stage, basically. Pushing boundaries. Oh, yeah, it's, the, it's the comfort zone thing that we were talking about, yeah. That's quite intense going through the people. <laughs> was, I know, it's a lie, it's a lie. <laughs> I can't remember the, the Starscape in Baltimore, I was playing a show and we had to go right through the crowd to get to the stage. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, I'm driving. So yeah. I drove the golf buggy. So that everyone was coming up, but I was I was concentrating. I was like, right, I'm getting right through. Yeah. Yeah, I drove. I think it was like me, kill the noise, feed me, oh my God. and twelve planet. I drove us all to the stage. <laughs> and yeah, that was quite fun. I'll do it myself. It's fun to drive a golf cart. It is. It's like a certain sense I, of power. I, I do it whenever I can. Yeah. How do you deal with stress? Um. Uh, deep breathing is probably I found the best way to deal with stress. So I'm quite, in, strangely, I'm quite into um, <coughs> like ambient music and like meditation music, binaural beats and like Brian Eno music for Air Force and stuff like that. Yeah. I generally, in my spare time, listen to really chilled ambient like soundscapes and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's how I do it really, because you know when you're playing such an intense set, I can't listen to that off stage, you know, because I, I need to be able to connect with it there and then. So yeah, I tend to listen to really chilled music. Bring yourself yeah. back down. Yeah. Soothing ocean yeah. waves. That's exactly it, yeah, basically. What do you consider your greatest achievement? I don't know, actually. I mean, <clears throat> generally, like, life is kind of laden with small achievements. Like, waking up on time is, <laughs> is pretty good. But, I don't know. For me, I feel like I've, I spend a lot of time trying to keep my integrity intact. Like I try not to, I try to keep what I do true to what I always wanted it to be, I guess. So I am I feel like I've achieved that. I'm quite happy when I think about that I've achieved, you know, not going off on one. I've, I've, I worked out what Flux Pavilion is and I stuck with that and I still do that and I still love it, basically. So that is an achievement to me, I'd say. What do you do on your days off? <coughs> Sleep. And eat. And... Yeah, I play, play video games. I just bought a Super Nintendo. So I've been playing Super Metroid and I bought a, a record player as well. So I've been listening to Jimi Hendrix Blues on vinyl, playing Super Metroid, smoking Cuban cigars and drinking scotch. That's basically what I do on my days off. You know, balling in the day and balling at night. That's, that's how I do it. Is there anything else you would like to confess? <laughs> um, Nah, I think we've gone through enough, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Confession Car, for having me. Is it called Confession Car? It should be, if it isn't. Confession. I'm going to call it Confession Car. So, what you want? Yeah. So yeah, big up. <laughs>